The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about, man, in the last three months, man, we done lost five rappers, man. Let's jump straight into it. Man, this drill wave, man, is, is costing these young black men their life at a rapid rate, man. Just in the last three months, we lost Lil Jeff, Lil Schoon, uh, We lost uh, THF Twin, 800TJ. Uh, we lost Fulio, uh, just lost YBC Duel a couple days ago. Man, that's like five, six top rappers, man, within the last, since the summer started, man, these kids is really losing their life out here. You know what I'm saying? And it's all behind this drill music. I don't say music in general because you got R&B music, you got pop music, you got old school music that when you listen to it, it don't make you want to go pick up a strap and go harm somebody. But these shorties with this drill wave, man, I don't think they realizing that this taunting, this dissing, this this going on on live, walking down your ops block, y'all playing a, 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 a dangerous, deadly game. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that some of these cities is having more homicides than Afghanistan, Iraq, and all of that, that lets you know, man, these shorties is, is out of control. You know? But I feel like I feel like when the record label started started giving rappers like Chief Keef six million dollars, you know, they seen Dirt make a hundred million dollars, and they seen all these rappers make money off of this beefing and all of that, and a lot of these shorties feel like that's their way out. You know, nobody want to wake up no more and be a basketball player, NFL player, a doctor, a lawyer, none of that. When when people wake up, they idolize the biggest gangster that stayed three four houses down. That's who they want to be. They see him getting money every day, wearing nice clothes, got all the girls in the hood. That's what they want to be. They don't want to work hard and, and, and make it out of the hood and change their life. Like if you just look at if you just look at Philly, Chicago, Detroit, Memphis, Atlanta, St. Louis, Montgomery, Alabama right now, like these cities right now is going up right now. And it's because of these shorties and it's this because of these shorties and this drill music. You know what I'm saying? Just look at all the people I just named. You got YBC Duel, could have signed a deal, been a millionaire. Jeff was about to sign a deal. Lil Schoon was about to sign a deal. Fulio already had a deal. You feel what I'm saying? All of these people, 800 TJ had potential to sign a deal. But these dudes put their time and energy into street things. And in the long run, it's not going to pan out for you. It's not going to pay. It's not. There's no 401k plan out of the streets. It's no uh, trust fund out of the streets. It's no health insurance. It's none of that when you're in the streets. That's what shorties don't realize that. You jump off the porch 13, 14, by the time you're 18, 19, 20, you already gone in the head. You know? Then on top of that, they taking A through Z. Shorties is off, uh, they off the drink. They off the yurks. They off the za. They, well, they off five, six different things. You know, some of them make their emotions go up. Some of them make their emotions go down. They take this and go back up. So just all day, they they mostly doing this and this all day long. And they wonder why they, 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 they shot out in the head. You know what I'm saying? And I get it, man. A lot of times I used to blame the parents. But a lot of times, man, it's, it's a 50-50 how I blame the parents. Because you can raise your son or daughter to be the, belt, the most respectful, productive young man or young woman in this world. You can give them the tools and the knowledge to prepare themselves for what they see outside. But when they go outside, it's up to them to use the tools that you gave them to guide them through life. But then you got some parents out here that know what their kids doing and they just don't care. So it's a 50 50. You know, my, my mother raised me as best as she could. But when I went out the door, the decisions was on me to make. If I wanted to do the right thing, it was on me. If I wanted to do the wrong thing, it was on me. But I was raised right. You know what I'm saying? But. I just feel like, man, that um, I feel like this drill, this drill genre and in, in, in the whole, man, I, I, I'm starting to feel like, man, they need to probably take it away, man. You know, I really feel like that the drill music genre, man, need to go ahead and get banned in music, man. You know, um, because when you got 13, 14, 17, 18, 21 year old losing their life every day because they infatuated with. With, 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 with going in the studio and talking about real street things because 
You got record labels that'll pay you three, four hundred thousand for for a record deal, and that's their motivation. They they see people making it getting signed, but the record labels don't care. The record labels don't once they put their check in your hand, they don't care if you make it, if you survive, if you don't. They gonna take out insurance policy on you like every other artist they do. But when you sit back and you think, man, since the beginning of the summer, man, we didn't lost Lil Jeff. Two weeks later, we lost Lil Schoon. We lost Fulio. We lost 800 TJ. We lost THF Twin. And we just lost YBC Duel. All of those artists was talented, man. If they would have buckled down, man, they could have possibly made millions of dollars. But if you notice, all of those rappers that I just said was in the drill wave. They was taunting. They was dissing ops. You know, they they just wasn't no prep school kids that was, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was actually in them streets. And you can't do both, man, in a lot of these cities. You can't be in Detroit, Chicago, Philly, Atlanta, think that you're going to be half and half. Oh, I'm a gangbang half of my day. Then at nighttime, I'm going uh, to go be a rapper. It don't work like that. If you want to make it and you want to get out of your city, you got to buckle down, man, and you got to stay focused. That may require you cutting friends off. It may require you not partying. It may, you may be alone a lot of times by yourself. You know what I'm saying? But when you on your goal to success, man, and you trying to make it for you and your family and for your community, it's certain things that you got to sacrifice. You can't have a big name and a big buzz, you know, coming out of your city, but you think you about to gangbang on a block. No, bro, it's not the way that worked. You know, everybody that worked hard for what they got today, man, they had to sacrifice a lot. And a lot of these shorties, man, they want the money today, but they don't want to sacrifice. Y'all can't be buzzing rappers and think that y'all just going to be riding through Philly shooting vlog, riding through Chicago shooting vlog, dropping your location, going live, telling ops this, this, and this. Like, you can't do that, man. If anybody can show me yet a person that made it in Chicago, Philly, Detroit, Atlanta, St. Louis, Memphis, that was heavily beefing and was able to stay in their city and continue to be a rapper. Let me know anybody in the comment section that y'all done seen blow up in their city of dissing, taunting ops, and they made it in their city and was able to still stay in their city. It, you, you're not going to see any rapper. Vaughn left, Dirt left, Keith left, you know what I'm saying? Polo G left, everybody left. Look at in Philly, Meek left, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you want to be successful, man, you got to leave. But it's your boy, D's Media, man. But my condolences go out, man, to all the rappers, man, that we just lost this summer. Uh, my condolences go out to uh, YBC Duel family, uh, Lil Jeff family, Lil Schoon family, 800 TJ family, uh, THF Twin, and Fulio, man. My condolences go out to all y'all family, man. Peace, positivity, network, growth. Let's save these kids. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>